Well, now we have some new developments in the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago. The Justice Department says it has completed an initial review of those documents seized from the former president's Florida state. So what does it mean for the possible appointment of a special master? News Nation correspondent Kelly Myers live in Washington. Kelly, where do things stand right now? Well, Nicole, we are now three weeks to the day of the initial start of the search at former President Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago, and the investigation has only gotten more complicated, more involved, and more politically infused every day. There's a few key updates we want to tell you about, so let's start from the top here. First, today in a court filing, the Justice Department noted that they identified a limited set of documents that could include information protected by attorney-client privilege. That's important because that privilege is part of former President Trump's reasoning for asking for what's called a so-called special master. Essentially, that's a neutral second set of eyes to look over the documents and decide whether any of them fall under attorney-client privilege and should be left out of the investigation. A judge signaling over the weekend she is likely to back Trump's request. But that judge, Aileen Cannon, nominated by then-President Trump in 2020, is calling for a more detailed description of the property seized from Mar-a-Lago, directing the government to respond to Trump's motion for a special master by tomorrow, with a hearing on the issue to follow on Thursday. Here's one legal expert sharing what the appointment means to the investigation. So the appointment of a special master at the end of the day really has no impact on whether or not there were fruits of a crime, evidence of a crime, these documents that were taken from Mar-a-Lago, if they are in fact fruits of a crime, evidence leading to fruits of a crime, they are what they are. The Justice Department also confirming today that the intelligence community is reviewing the documents, looking for any potential risk to national security. The White House saying today the president was not briefed on the DOJ's recent actions and is, quote, committed to the independence of the DOJ. Nicole? All right, Kelly Meyer in Washington. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.